Hello, internet friends, and welcome to the party. That is my channel where I talk about books. I don't know if you got the invite to this party. It was RSVP only, so, you know. Just kidding! So it's Tuesday, and let's do a list, because because why not? This list, I'm going to be doing my top five favorite short books, nonfiction edition. Could I have put any more descriptors on this list? I think not, except I probably could have. What about top five nonfiction short books written by females? But that's not what I'm going to do. So when I started this list, it wasn't going to be nonfiction and fiction, but then I found my list filling up with a whole lot of nonfiction. I was like, well, I can't leave these books out. I have to dedicate a whole video to them. So that's what I'm going to do. Number five is Nerd Haiku by Rob Perlman. It is a book just filled with nerdy, geeky, crazy haikus, one of which I shall read for you. I am the only one here wearing a red shirt. This will not end well. Another one. Captain's Log, Stardate. That totally sounds better than Dear Diary, right? All right, so I don't really know how to read haikus. I'm assuming that that's how you do it. But this has got uh, probably a couple hundred haikus in here that are all really funny. A couple of them were uh, super math-centric, and I had to ask my significant other about them, which hurts my heart. But I highly recommend it. The next one is Misdirecting the Play by Tony McCabe. If you can't tell from the title, it's about misdirecting a play. I read it in college, and I've thought about it often since then, kind of about what it says about how we interpret text. I thought that was just, in many ways, genius. It talks about staging and spatial awareness. It's just really good, and it's a great informational text if directing is a thing for you. I found it really informative in this type of format. So, number four. The next is This is a Book by Dimitri Martin. I love Dimitri Martin. I think he's hilarious. Um, and this is just a book he wrote. It's got short stories in it, tons and tons of palindromes, and other just really funny, geeky things. It's it's everything you would want out of a book by Dimitri Martin. Next is We Should All Be Femini Feminist by Chimanda Ngozi Adeshe. This is a ridiculously short book that was adapted from a TED Talk she gave about feminism. And it's charming and wonderful. And it for such a short book, like, look how small that is, it completely changed my views on feminism. If you like that speech that... Emma Watson gave to the UN, you will love this. Just trust me. And last but not least is Very Good Lives by J.K. Rowling. This is, an, this is adapted from a speech she gave to the graduating class at Harvard in 2008, I think. It is inspirational and thought-provoking and wonderful. Great. Amazing. Wow. Kapow. I've talked about it before, and I'll talk about it again because it's, it's not only a beautiful book, it is beautifully written and... <laughs> Got such beautiful media elements. Anyway, guys, that was my top five favorite short books, which I realized just now all have super white covers. Awesome. That's that's going to read just really well, isn't it? If you've read any of these, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And uh, thanks for watching.